She thought she was the luckiest girl in the world. But just days after the royal wedding, Diana of Wales would realize that her marriage was far from being a fairy tale. The personality differences between Lady Diana and Prince Charles were clear from the beginning. After a terrible honeymoon, the situation would only get worse over the years. Diana suffered from the prince's successive infidelities with his mistress, but in addition, the heir to the throne also broke her heart when he made a cruel joke about their second son, Prince Harry, when he was just a newborn. On television, more than 750 million people around the world, as well as another 600,000 on the streets of London, watched the details of the so-called Wedding of the Century. On July 29, 1981, the union between the Prince Charles, heir to the British throne, who was 32 at the time, and Lady Diana Spencer, who was only 20 year olds, was consecrated. What seemed like the perfect marriage, however, showed its cracks from day one. Their honeymoon, which took place aboard the royal yacht, left a lot to be desired. Although everything was planned for it to turn out perfectly, the trouble began when Diana discovered that the cufflinks on Charles' shirts were a gift from his ex, Camilla Parker Bowles, and were inscribed with both of their initials, a sign indicative of Charles' future infidelities. However, this wouldn't be the only disastrous event of the honeymoon. Despite being newlyweds, the prince preferred to paint or disappear into his books that spend time with Diana, quickly disappointing the princess. The situation didn't get any better in the second part of the honeymoon at Balmoral Castle in Scotland. How do you like to put Balmoral as a place? Have you cooked a breakfast yet? <laughs> Despite declaring that everything was going wonderfully, the princess hated the countryside, the pouring rain and Charles and his family's passion for dogs and horses. Diana also felt that the prince avoided any intimate contact with her. However, the princess became truly convinced that it was all going wrong a few years later, during her second pregnancy. After the birth of William, her firstborn son, Charles longed to have a daughter. Knowing of her husband's desire, Diana hid the baby's sex from him throughout her pregnancy. Once Harry was born in 1985, Prince Charles sadly said, Oh God, it's a boy, and he's even got red hair. The princess was heartbroken. The prince was not only disappointed of his own son, but he was also making fun of his hair color a characteristic feature of the Spencers, Lady Di's family. Carlos también era un personaje criado para ser rey, pero con una personalidad bastante discreta, tímida e insegura frente a la opinión pública. Luego Diana creció, creció cuando vio que era valorada por sus obras sociales, por su carisma, de ser invisible, pudo ir sumando eh, una personalidad y unos talentos que antes nadie los veía. Entonces, en este mundo público, entre la moda, las fotos, la, los fanáticos, los aplausos, ella fue creciendo mientras que los complejos de Carlos no fueron superados. The rest is history. The royal couple divorced in 1996 and Diana died in a car accident a year later. Although Prince Charles ended up marrying his ex and mistress Camilla Parker Bowles in 2005, what is certain is that Diana has been immortalized by the British public and by the world as the people's princess.